All right, so this is a second part of this beginner playthrough thing that I'm doing. So hopefully the first one was of some use. <laughs> I'll continue now. All right. So this is now the second week. So let me see. I gotta start with goals to do. I mean, once you've gotten the things up and running, the very first thing it's gonna ask you to do next is to create a coop. Or a barn, so they can raise animals. So, it's kind of weird, because it says you'll need her to build a coop or barn. But then it asks you to build a coop. Here's the thing. Between the two, the barn is probably more useful in my opinion. Just because... In terms of the bundles, they haven't been revealed yet, but there are ones that require... At things that are more difficult to get. So, the coop will give you chickens, ducks, and rabbit. The bundles will ask you for things that you get from all three of those. However, some of those items you can find naturally outside of raising animals. So it kind of invalidates it quite a bit. And so it's leaning you towards building a coop, which you can. But in the interest of like getting everything in the first year, or at least as quick as possible, like the coop you can make, but don't take it any further than its initial stage. That's what I would recommend, and go for the barn instead. Because with all the barn stuff, you can't find that stuff outside of the barn, so... It means you need to take the barn to the highest level before you can get everything you need for it. Hope that makes sense. So, I would recommend building the barn as quick as possible. Um, because you need, you need the pigs, and they're expensive. Maybe the remix bundles might move away from that, but generally speaking, the barn doesn't complete the quest. No, it doesn't, but, like, it's not a big deal. Like, the, completing this quest is not a priority, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's not the end of the world if you don't complete this quest. I think the more important thing is moving towards um, getting the pigs before winter, because pigs do not find anything in winter. And at least chickens and everything in the, the coop are still functional in winter. So that's why. It's like, the amount you get for this quest anyway is kind of negligible in the long run. So that's my recommendation, is like, ignore this quest. Just, it's so weird the phrasing. You'll need to build a coop or a barn. But then it says build a coop. You managed to get truffles halfway through summer. Yeah, nice. And generally speaking, I, I think the, uh, the stuff from the barn makes you more money anyway. So that's why I just, you know, you can get the coop if you want. I would recommend not. And just not worry too much about the quest. Because these quests, they're kind of nudging you in a direction, but you can go in any direction you want. Like, someone that's doing fishing, for example, won't bother with a coop. Just going pure fishing or pure mining. So, that's how I'm going to approach it here. I need to defeat one more slime today, so we're definitely going to the mines. You complete an animal bundle without the coop anyway. Yeah, well, that's the other thing, is, like, you can um, get things from the traveling merchant. So, you can absolutely finish it without building it. But anyway, that's my recommendation. Someone else might say something different, but just in the ex interest of getting the big things, the big rewards as soon as possible, I'd recommend going for the barn first, so that's what I'm going to do.
In fact, I'm probably gonna get something before the barn, but, you know, that's my preference. Okay, so, another tip. When you're in your inventory, and you hover over an item, you'll see this kind of pop up and down. When it does that, like this, it means it's an item you need for the bundle. So just, we need a carrot, I need to save a carrot. The other carrot can be shipped. Like in 1.6, the pet finds duck feathers. So the, you don't even need ducks. Like, your pet will find duck feathers. Which... Is it that the pet found a random duck feather, or your pet ate a duck? <laughs> like... You know? Which is it? Which would you like to believe? Okay, this is the bundle chest. Unfortunately, at least from what um, I've looked into, it doesn't look like any of the new crops or things you can grow contribute to cooking at all, so it's just, I guess you can feel free to sell them. Alright, I'm not going to go there. Uh, we need to get to the mine, so I'm just going to quickly check the spring onion situation. I'm going to check Gus's trash can, and hopefully there's good food in there. One of the coolest things you can have happen is if you get a food from the trash can that is like a love item for one of the bachelors or bachelorettes, because then you can progress the friendship pretty quickly with that. Just wait for their birthday and... It's great. Eh, I got like a, a better quality one. Um, I might give Leah the gold one because it'll give more friendship points. And Linus as well, the gold one. I don't think she leaves her house this early though. Otherwise, I'll just eat it. It's fine. Don't walk out. Don't walk out. Thank you. I'm gonna swing by Gunther's. Actually, hold on. Okay. Uh, these are going to the crab pot bundle immediately. This is why I popped here. Uh, that bridge is like 300 wood. There's reason to go for it early. It's like you can get that and that's like another source of income. But I would only recommend if you're doing fishing to do that. Um, otherwise it's like it can wait. Figured while we're here. Um, okay, well, that's for summer. Have I done the Joja path? Uh, yeah, a long time ago. Not lately. I know there's new content for the Joja path. Like, with 1.6, but, um... It's not for this playthrough. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Emily wants you to say hi to everyone. And you get a free ticket. I mean, worth, I think. It's a bit of a hassle. But I can do it. How many farms do I have? Uh... Active at the moment, too. But I've done at least a dozen over the years. Oh, wait, Leah. There you go. 
have a gold one. This kind of alters my plans a little, but I do need to... Okay. Get the most out of this while I'm here. Oh, there's Marnie. Nice. Oh, ah, Penny, 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 Penny. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is good. Okay, I need to go into Harvey's because Harvey's like the biggest pain to become friends with. The doctor's office closes early, and even then, he's not around. A lot in the doctor's office. It's kind of annoying. It's, it's just not there. <laughs> and he lives there as well, so like he closes his building at three, and then you can't even go see him un unless he's out and about. So here he is. That's so fine. Right, halfway. That's good. This quest isn't bad early on. It's a pain, but at the same time, it's like friendship points, so... Why not? If I can get half of it done today, then the other half can happen tomorrow. I just need to think about who's where. I need to make sure that I... Elliot's probably going to be one of the harder ones to say hello to. Okay, um, there's Robin. There's Demetrius. This dude's probably in his room. Yep, can't talk to him until he goes out. Alright, I need to deal with the slimes. And make sure I got that done. I mean, Linus is easy enough to talk to, so I'm not going to stress too much about it. I'm not interested in progress too much, just getting the slime thing out of the way. Okay, when you hear a ding, that means it's done. Talk to Lewis. I'm going to go talk to Lewis. more important. With some of these quests, you have to go talk to complete them, which is a little a little annoying. Because sometimes you'll complete the quest, but then you can't talk to the person that's asking you to talk to. So I just want to make sure I stay on top of that. Which at this point I may as well see who else I can talk to. I need to talk to Willie. I need to talk to... Who else? I'll check the list. I've gotten a few of the more difficult ones out of the way. Okay. So prize tickets is like something that you'll get randomly. Um, for doing this. You'll get a reward now for doing these side quests. Yeah, yeah. I was just loading some more prizes into this machine here. It's a new program I've come up with to help promote a spirit of goodwill among the town folk, you included. Pretty simple. Sometimes when you help out others in town, you'll receive prize tickets. You can turn them in for rewards. There's some special stuff in there. Um, and yeah, the way it works is it's just redeem one at a time. You don't need to hoard them. My only worry is that people just go after tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion for their fellow man. 
Yep, I'm in it for the prizes. <laughs> Alright. Is that so? Glad to hear. Yeah, yeah. At any rate, keep checking the help on the board. Yeah, yeah. There's, al there's already, like, one ticket I have, and then there'll be a second one if I do this hello. 12 carrot seeds. The next one is a orange. Orange sapling, so that's huge. Definitely want that done quickly. Oh, nice. Elliot's here. Alright, that's gonna be- that was one of the harder ones to get, right? Okay, um... Willy should hopefully be out here. Okay, I made it. There you go. Okay, let's look at the list. Who haven't we said hey to? Haley is at home. Pam will be at the bar. Clint, probably bar. Shane, probably bar. Probably bar. Sebastian, probably smoking jazz. Sam, okay. That's not too bad. I think I can manage. We'll see. So I need to prioritize the ones that I guess close early. So most houses by 7 p.m. you can't really talk to them anymore. So let's just go see Haley first. Okay. There's Haley. Um let's see if Sam's here. Sam is not here. There's Sam. Okay. Six remaining. Uh, Pam will be in the bar. Shane will probably be in the bar. Clint, I imagine, will be in the bar later. There's Shane going in already. Okay. I'm going to see if Sebastian's going to be outside the lake home. This is worth pursuing because it's going to give me an orange sapling. That is pretty much the only reason I would want to do this. It is a little annoying. He is not here. He's always in his room. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. Alright, four more. Uh, Pam will be a... Yep, yep. Ja uh, Jazz will pro I'll probably have to get tomorrow. I'm probably just gonna go back to the farm and cut down some trees. That's how I'll spend the evening. Uh, while I'm here, I'll... Donate some things to the crab pot. So that, 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 and hey, already halfway there. I'm going to do this. Collecting fiber constantly is pretty important. More than it used to be. So I've been trying to get into the habit of doing that. So Jazz is someone I'll have to talk to tomorrow. That's Clint. Okay. Um. Pam. Gus. So, I mean, it's weird because there's technically other villagers. Like, I don't think it counts the wizard and I don't think it counts the dwarf. And that it doesn't count, um... Gunther either, which is so weird. That's the... The thing, it's like, they're part of Stardew, but then... They don't actually do much <laughs> outside of running their place of business. Or Marlin as well. Like, they turn up to events, but they don't have friendship values. 
Ah, you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me. They've been causing a real mess. Thanks, make sure you give them a good scare. With these interactions, there is a right answer. Most of the time. If you give an answer that someone doesn't like, you do lose a little friendship with them. If you skip, nothing happens. Um, it's not a lot, but sometimes just give the answer that someone wants to hear, even if you disagree with it. Like this, it's like, just say it's a shame. You can go home, I promise I won't rummage in George's thing anymore. You can tell him you scared them off for good. Alright. Wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. He offers them something you can't actually get. There's no zucchinis. You can't cook zucchini fritters. He doesn't actually sell zucchini fritters in-game either. It's just somehow Linus gets his hands on something that just doesn't exist. It would make sense if it was, like, a food you could purchase, but, yeah. It is not... Oh, soil. A book. Okay. I mean, these lost books, they just provide lore and info. There's an achievement to read all the books in the library, but now they have different kinds of books in-game, which we'll hopefully see. Um, I'm gonna chop some of the trees out here. So that I'm not getting rid of my trees so quickly. But I mean, gulls for now will be a fish pond and the barn. Those are the things that I'm aiming for. I would recommend the barn first. Or if you want to go down the route of the coop, go for the coop. But there's reasons why I wouldn't want to do that. Um, I have carrots, but like it's fine. I'll just keep the seeds. Alright, so I'm keeping the leek. Uh, they're used in cooking, but also in terms of presents, George likes those, so. If I do want to give presents to George and become more friendly, I can. Alright. Got a little bit of time left and energy. this down and that should be enough for today. Maybe clear this as well. Just whenever you have a little bit of energy left over, just do this. Okay, and always be smelting, so let's see if there's anything I can smelt. There is, so let's put another on. Nothing else. Alright. Everything looks good here. Another sunny day. Alright. 
before I do the next thing, so I mentioned this last time, is like, bring up the wiki and check the fish for the season. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to look at spring and see what fish you can catch in spring and just make sure that I'm on top of it. Okay. Um, we also have, I guess it's handy because it has the calendar, Vincent's birthday in two days, so we need to make sure we do that. And the egg festival. Okay. So I didn't get to check the calendar in town today, that's why I'm doing it now. So the egg festival, you want to have some money for that? Because they sell, they sell things there. One of them being strawberry seeds. Um, it's a crop that is good to have. Um, it has uses such as it makes good gifts for Maru and Demetrius. Very easy gifts. But it also makes a lot of money if you turn them into preserves or whatever. I usually hang on to my strawberries. But make sure you have money. So save money leading into the Saturday. Haley's birthday is also on the 14th, so there's two birthdays this week. But that's that aside, I'm looking at the fish. Okay. I got the fish list up, so I'm going to just do a quick checklist. Okay, so the one I'm missing is eel when it's raining. So let's have a look. All right. So anchovy, I got it. Smallmouth bass, got it. Catfish, got it. Sunfish, got it. Herring, got it. Okay, eel is rain. Don't have it. Bream, I should have. Yep. Sardine, got it. Shad, got it. Flounder, got it. Halibut, got it. And then there's the legendary fish, which I can't get unless I have level 10 fishing. That's a very difficult one to acquire. But there is a way you can do it. Um, but it's only when it's raining. It's like, it's very unlikely that you're going to catch legend in the first year, but you can. You basically have to be fishing every day. Um, you'd be fishing in the ocean, and then you'd be hoping to get the ocean jelly. Because that gives you plus three to fishing. So you would only need to get to skill level seven. So it's doable, it's just... There's a lot of uh, luck involved, I guess. But the only thing I'm missing, it would appear, is just the eel. So when it rains, I need to go to the ocean. Everything else is accounted for. Um, but that being said, bundle-wise, let's take a look as well. Um, so I need a new catfish. I got that, I got that. That's not the season. Um, I got a bream. That would be when it's raining. The other one's a new season. None of these are something I should be concerned about now. That's going to happen naturally on its own. Um, I haven't caught anything in the mountain, but these ones are available all year. These are a specific season. Sardine. Okay. Do not. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, it's not too bad. Might be worth going to the mines today. Okay. Just thinking ahead. Um, one other thing I didn't check. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. So usually there's one that's like quality crops. Um, that one, if you get a gold star on the crop, you just need to hang on to specific ones. But I didn't get it, so that's, I guess, good. It means I can sell all my gold ones. But that's one thing you should keep an eye open for, is just that bundle specifically, and which ones you need to collect, and just 
Hang on to your gold crops. You usually just need five of one particular crop. But I guess I don't need it this time. Gonna, again, just keep two. Because I need to donate one to the bundle, which I might take that out, but... Okay, um, we have a bunch of these. Do I have fertilizer? I have fertilizer now. Alright, cool. I'm gonna make some fertilizer. Just increase the odds of getting a better crop. have a pile of that ready. Um, okay. Good to head out. Um, actually, no. I changed my mind a little bit. Um, so we need to say hello to Jazz. It's the last thing I need to do. So while I'm out there, I'm going to go donate things to the bundle. So I'm looking at the ones that hover. So that hovered. That one hovered. That one hovered. This one hovered. This one hovered. That one didn't. Okay. Just anything that I see jump at me. Oh yeah, right. We need to donate. Hang on. How much to the construction bundle? 99 stone, okay. Um, I'm gonna choose not to do that just yet. Fish pond. How much is a fish pond? It's 200 stone and 5,000. So, I'm getting close to that. I need stone for the barn as well, so let's just leave that. That can wait until I have the wood. It's not really a lot of point to it. That's one. Um, and then I guess I'm going to carry just these to act as general presence if I run into George, sure. Alright, we're good. Priority is to run into Jazz, which uh, she's not she's not out of her room right away. That's kind of the annoying thing. I might take a trip down to the wizard and see if the wizard counts. I got nothing else to do in the meantime, and it'll be a little bit before she comes out anyway, so let's just do that. Plus, I might have some foraging things I can get. It's not a total waste. There's a little bit of uh, advice for later that I'm going to do. In terms of making friendship things easier to manage. But we'll get to that. Right now, I'm not too concerned about it. I don't have copious amounts of resources. But there's things you can do to make it a bit easier to manage. There's Marnie. Okay, let's see if Jazz is out yet. She's still in her room. Um, just trying to think what I can do in the meantime. I guess I could fish. I'm pretty sure she comes out. Well, I can look it up. Pretty sure it's 11, but let's just... 
do something. <laughs> if she's not out, I'll look it up. Oh, there she is. Cool. That's it. Okay, talk to everyone. That would give me a ticket. I guess I need to talk to Emily, maybe. I have no idea. I mean, that's one of the reasons I did it, but maybe we'll receive it in the mail. I know, doing a good deed, just... It's locked, okay. Running low on Earth Crystal, Marnie. Okay, that's easy. Oh, nice. She's gonna be here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go get it quickly. Just staying on top of this is the best way to make friendship work for you. Okay, I'm um, going to sell one of the sunfish. Oh, I forgot to water the cat's bowl. That's something that I, I need to get used to, because I don't usually do it. But now there is incentive. Make sure we talk to people. It's like little, little friendship. Um, alright, so. Mani gets this. And then we need to. I'm gifting Caroline stuff as well because she's the one that gives you tea. How's. Haley's relationship going. I can gift another thing to Haley. Um, did I check Gus's trash? Did. Okay. Her birthday's Sunday, so. She's gonna be up here, I think, because I saw her walking. Yeah, in this direction. Okay, friendship level up. Alright, donate fish. So, I just need to set up an actual crab pot. Unless I get the whole thing where, um, there's a crab. Ooh, I forgot to bring the carrot. That is my bad, but it's okay. There's plenty of carrots being grown. There's not too much of a rush to do that. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what? I'll forgot for now. I was gonna give George something, but eh. Okay. Pro 
Aggression, hopefully. Probably a mistake on my part. Um, I'm gonna. Since <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I mean, look, um, it's like, it's just a 200 gold cost and it gives me a better weapon. I usually do that. It's just, it's not so much of a problem if you do the standard, because I don't think it gives out the dagger, but with this, it's like, it's going to be a while before I get my good weapon. And it just takes ages otherwise. At least now I'm doing damage. <laughs> okay, that was a gift for the dwarf. Trying to take out things as well, because I want my combat level to go up. You can also get the next floor by doing that. Yeah, I'm going down. Take so many more hits to take those things out. Oh boy. When it's green, it means a bunch of, yeah, monsters, bugs, whatever are gonna fly at you, so just be prepared. May as well take them out. at this point. Give me the bug meat and combat experience. I'm gonna be eating food anyway if I take damage, so... There we go. I think I did get the one at the end of this passageway so I don't have to bother. There are combat milestones you get for killing certain enemies. So just buy it where it's possible but not too time consuming. Alright, oh, spiral, spiral room. Okay, um... Let's... Let's see how we go with this. Nice. Okay, well, 
I'll get rid of the normal algae. So I'm gonna try for something. So when you get to these, there's a unique fish in each one. Okay, hang on. I think what I need to do here... Just free up my space a little. a little little bit of luck. But I figure I'm not gonna go too much further today. Let me try. I think this is a ghost fish. The ghost fish is also a bundle fish, so not horrible. Oh, no, I got it. Yo, nice. I'm probably going to keep that. It's not a bad contender for um, a pond fish. See how lucky I got. I'd have to find two floors very quickly. I'm kind of pushing my luck. Omni Geode. Um, definitely want that. Alright, I'm leaving. We're good. So again, leave at about midnight anywhere, you'll get home on time. That's the latest you can be out. That changes a bit later, but that's the rule I follow. It's just, yep. Stay out till about midnight. Carrot seeds. Uh, I mean, rice is like another crop that I need, but those will be there tomorrow if I don't pick them up. At least I think so. Okay, so I'm gonna color this so I know. This is my fish chest. This is my present bundle chest. And it's just general stuff. I kind of already need an another chest. It's kind of... Okay, let put this up here. Uh, I am going to move... What am I going to move over there? I will see this belongs in bundle. I might make that seeds. And general farming stuff. Okay, these are going to get sold tomorrow. 
always be smelting. Alright, bedtime. So rerun with a report. Oh, sunny day. All right. I'm smelting these because tool upgrades and other stuff that I want to make. So I want to make sure I have a supply of them. Okay. to bed a bit late so I don't have as much energy. Today is Vincent's birthday so I need to just give him something. I'll have a look at what he likes. I don't think I have anything that he loves. Probably just resort to a flower or something. Alright, let's see Vincent. Uh, okay. He likes snails, but I just don't have that yet. Daffodil is fine. We'll give him a daffodil. I have that. Okay, he likes daffodils. Uh, present chest. Okay, so daffodil, George, bundle. All right, we're good. Don't think I have anything else I want to do. Check my own little quarry here. I think for now, I'll leave it. I just gotta make sure I'm taking advantage of that, else I have it. Because otherwise, it's, I'm not really utilizing the map. I went to bed late, I don't have as much energy. You can push it for 1am, past 1am, but it's like, you know, the trade-off is you don't have as much energy. That was a gamble I took. There's Vincent. Vincent, come here. Present, Vincent. Seller. I'm not going to have money for that. We're saving for the egg festival. Okay. So while we're here, I'm going to pop in and give George a leak. 
He really likes leaks. Yeah, probably not safe to do that, huh? I mean, I'll take clay. Clay is useful. Eh, actually, while well, I'm here, I got one geode. Why not? I might get something I can donate. There you go. as well talk while I'm here. Okay, um, what books have I got? This is a book by Marnie. Animals are very sensitive. They like to get pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors rather than dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though. Okay. Using fertilizer, improved quality, reduce workload of haste and... Trees take a whole season to grow. Alright. Crops will die as soon as the season ends. Yeah, yeah. It's like just tips. I mean, I guess I didn't point that out if that wasn't obvious. It's like every season has its unique set of crops. So, generally, you don't want to plant things in the final week. Unless they can grow quick enough. There's like things that only take a couple days to grow and they're fine. But there's larger things like cauliflower that take 12, so I'll just watch yourself. Alright. That goes in here. I'm hoping that I got lucky and... One of my random crops become potato. You would you would think it would happen. I think I got Linus. Oh, I already given Linus two gifts. Never mind. Let's all talk to him. This opens at 2 p.m. Okay. I'm just selling that and that. There we go. And that makes up for what I spent on the blade. for the dwarf. Okay. Already given him two. Okay. This is lucky. Hold on. Damn. I was hoping I'd get the crab. There's a bunch of loot over that. Definitely gonna go over that. Okay. 
Okay, um, let's prioritize. Get that. Get that. I'll just eat the rest of the spring onions. Milestone. Trying to balance progression with getting ore. Okay, this one will have a minecart at the end of it. Oh. Yeah, I mean, these you can destroy, they just take quite a few hits. Since I don't have the energy I want around. They give you a lot of stone. It's worth it later on. You need more stone. Crystal and ladder, cool. Um, I'm gonna eat the cave carrots. That works too, because I've got some at home anyway. Yam, are you kidding? Holy crap. That's like from another season. It means I don't have to grow yams later if I don't want to. Okay. Okay. Alright, um, choices have to be made here. Okay. First things first. It's gonna be a little annoying. Okay. Again, the trick of, like, picking up and then dropping. Um. I'm gonna forego that. Again, when you're like this, you can chill. Enemies aren't moving. They're kind of just frozen in time. So, just relax. Ah, what can I do here? I need, kind of need all of this stuff.
keep getting these things flying at me too. Okay, I mean, fundamentally, that is not worth a lot of money. I think that's the right choice. But then what I could also do is drop this, eat these, because it gives me health and energy. Then just pick that up. There we go, we're fine now. I might leave at 30. Assuming I can get to it. Oh, there. Okay. The issue is... Continuing would be a bad idea, because I'd be running into the next ore type, and... That's just gonna suck, because I can't hold more. So... I think we're fine. Um, I'm gonna pop in to the community center and donate the yam. Cause that is a crop from full and I guess, yeah, getting a head start on that's good. Uh, and I can just chop some wood to kind of wrap up the day. Yeah. Cool. Don't think I have anything else on me. Don't see any... Okay, wood and stone, but, like, I don't have enough. into presents. Um, seeds and farming stuff. Alright, we're good. In terms of smelting... probably get away with like doing another lot of them before bed. That's a, see, that's another one of those weird ones to get early on, because I guess what you need for it is a little annoying. Uh, yeah, don't need to look the rest of it up. So the bookseller, I mean, early on you're probably not going to have it. Um, this is easy to do. 
We're gonna do that, get free 250 gold. I want to do today. Um, Alright, presents. I'll take another leak to George. I mean... Maybe. If I run into someone that I feel like good friendship. Uh, potato. Alright, cool. That's done. I harvested the flowers because I don't think I'm going to get like a beehive before then. And blue jazz is the better one anyway. Okay, that'll stay as presents. Okay, so as usual. Um, two. Sell the rest. One for bundle. One for... Uh, heaps. I'm going to plant rice. And I'll go the rest of the mixed seeds. Actually, I think I got some spares. I forgot to get the fertilizer out. I might use water retaining, just because I got a bunch of it. Then it's less upkeep. Since we don't have to really worry about doing stuff for quality crops. The money is nice, but not our primary way of earning money. If it was, I'd go... I mean, I guess I can put both. There we go. And then just do that with the rest. Anyway, I can reduce effort. keep the farm maintainable without too much of uh, energy waste. Alright, that's that. Time to head out. Oh, put this back. Okay, um... Booksellers in town. Egg festivals at the end of the week. a bit more. Making sure I stay on top of these little tasks. No, I didn't hit that. <laughs> I hit the big, the, the big one somehow. Anyway. All oh, right. Ew! It smells. Why is it locked? I want to explore the source. We'll get here eventually. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy saw a door like this just got to be a match for a big rusty old key.
There's something moving around in there. I look like a clown. <laughs> the red shoes. It's kind of funny. Hang on. I'm switching it up today. Today is fishing. Because I need money, and that is how we make money. I'm going to the ocean. Here. I gotta try and run into Caroline. I need to get friendship up with her. Um, George gets not you. There you go. I'm trying to balance out friendship and money making, not try to skew towards one. Um, Daffodil, Leah. Wait, who was that? I guess I'll go home. I'll look up where Leah is as well right now. Okay, that's good. I got the daffodil. I might as well go home and just pop things in the chest. Since I'm gonna be fishing, I'll put the watering can away. It's just extra space. Okay, one sec. So I'm not going around everywhere. Where is Leah right now? Spring. Okay, she's near the edge of the river, southwest of the cottage. All right. I think I know what that is. Here you go. Got a prize ticket. Nice. And um, you can have this as well. I actually have more friendship with her than Haley. Huh. I mean, maybe date Leah. I guess it depends if I find like a good enough birthday gift for Haley. Give me my free orange tree. It's a good reward. 
That's kind of huge getting that that early. Alright. Fish time. May as well. Yeah, I'll just chill here for the rest of the afternoon. I just want to make sure I have money. <laughs> it's the best way to get money. I'm pretty sure anchovy is used in cooking. I have one. I just need to make sure I have a second one. Just have one for cooking, one for potential donations, and then that's fine. Especially now that you have the quests that give you prize tickets, it's, it's just worth doing. Just keeping at least two of each fish. It's worthwhile. But the orange tree is like worth a couple thousand. It's not a cheap item to get. Let's see if I can get that jelly as well. I think it's the only thing I'm missing that I haven't caught from here, aside from the eel. I should have gone to the bookseller, but eh. The thing is, early on you can't really afford the books. I'll do it in summer. Assuming I continue this file. Like I said, it's going to be kind of... I wouldn't say erratic, but like, whenever I feel like it. To do the single player one. Or if this whole, like, me talking like I'm talking to beginners thing. Actually has some semblance of value, I don't know. It's just, it's nice that I can do things <laughs> and not be on the clock the whole time. Multiplayer is great, but that's the one downside is time is going constantly, so there's no such thing as stopping time. Cutscenes don't stop time, interactions don't stop time, fishing doesn't stop time. So you have to think on your feet a lot more, and it's more, more overwhelming. But on the plus side, you're playing with someone. But it, it is more stressful from a time management perspective, because you have to... Really remember that. Fine. 
onto all the trash now that I have inventory. I think I did pretty well to get the backpack day four. Eat a couple spring onions. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I need more seaweed anyway. a little more energy. <laughs> I mean, I tried to look like Chrono from Chrono Trigger, but now I look like a clown. Because of the red shoes. Oh, nice. Wow, okay. I wasn't anywhere close to being in the mines near gold. I always gravitate towards fishing if I'm doing um, a playthrough. I tried not to lately, but I can't help it. Hey, there's a Twitch chat. How's it going? I'm playing single player just to pass time, and I'm doing like a little bit of a beginner's playthrough. Talking about everything that I'm doing. It's like, eh, it might stick around, it might not, we'll see. Because it'll be some time before Cat's up. Well, maybe not now, it's like... We're in the better time zone now. Okay, one more and then I gotta got head home. Because I need to plant this. Just finished year one on your playthrough, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna try and be good on this one. So far, I've remembered every birthday. I've done practically every quest. I got backpack on day four. So things are going well. Let's check calendar. It's not tomorrow, day after. So we've got two days to make as much money as possible. So the next two days are going to be fishing. It might be a little boring, but just in the setup to the egg festival, you want as much money as possible.
Okay, uh, as usual, always be smelting, so I'm gonna put something to smelt. Not that. Okay, um... I mean, I want two anchovies. Herring's not in the recipe. Halibut's not in the recipe. Sardine's not in the recipe. As long as I have one or the others, it's fine. Um, that'll do. Everything else can be sold. Oh, and keep crab pot stuff, because it's not worth selling. Go for the long-term goal. You cook crab pot stuff, so then you get- you can sell it and make money. Or, uh, you can also eat it as a food supply. Either works. I need to place this somewhere... Here's not bad. It's out of the way. Yeah, this is fine. And it's nice and close to everything else. All right, bedtime. Didn't get the backpack until after. No, I, I'm trying to be efficient, not insanely efficient to the point where like it's no fun allowed and it's all extreme meta stuff. But like at least things will be happening. If you choose to follow the advice I'm saying. It's not going to be the advice speedrunners or like people that are absolutely amazing at making money. And just getting through the content as quick as possible. But it's enough to have like a good foundational knowledge. <laughs> Clear and sunny, yeah. I don't think it ever rains on the festival day. Okay, so I need to make as much money as I can. Now... I'm not gonna buy too many, but I do want to be ready for it. So in preparation of that, I'm not going to plant anything there. Because I want to keep my, my farm area, you know, manageable. I don't want to go too big. I progress in the mines to the point where I can start earning silver, so we've stopped for a while. It's now time to earn some money and get wood and stuff. So, I mean, I don't know, like what, floor 25, I think is what I'm up to? Iron ore starts getting there. I think I call it silver, but it's iron. It's like a silver color. <laughs> Alright, that'll stay there on the off chance I can get um, beehives. I doubt I can, but who knows. Okay. It is Friday, let's have a look. You neglected mining too much? Yeah. It happens, let's... I've... picked the mountain farm, so... I guess there's like, a steady supply of ore that's coming in from up there. Provided I pay attention to it, I have been so far. It is traveling merchant day as well, so we're doing that. I forgot to get Robin's Lost Axe yesterday. I said it was easy money, but I kind of focused on the beach. But I'll, I'll do that today. Pickles, egg. Um, so because I'm not... So I'm not going the coop right away. So it is expensive, but... The flip side is I don't have to make a coop. 
Oh, but it's a large egg, not a small egg. Never mind, it's not gonna work. I'm keeping an eye open. Duck feather? Duck feather. Let's see if duck feather... It might be part of one of the later ones. You did Joja? I mean, there's new content for it. Okay, nothing yet. Alright, that's fine. I was kind of hoping for coffee, but it hasn't happened yet. I'm gonna go get Robin's axe. I completely forgot about it. I kind of autopiloted. Um... over here. I guess I'll do mountain lake fishing since I'm heading up there and let's just not waste time. The thing is mountain lake fishing I don't think makes as much money because it's carp and carp is not that great. If I look at the list of fish I'm pretty sure the ocean fish is more valuable. I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world if I just take a little bit longer to get to the beach. I don't know you. I may as well talk while I'm here. Hey, Messiah, how's it going? How's things? Here you go. Oh, wait, I've already... I guess I'm on top of giving him gifts, eh? Alright, I'll do a couple of casts here. Because there's a couple of fish here that I use for quests, so. That one being one. I need two of them. One for Bundle, one for, uh... Jody. The quest that happens later. It's just following the rule of just keeping two. Covers you, generally speaking. Okay, that's... I might... Eh. I mean, you gotta hang on to them as well. I generally sell these early on, but... Eating them, you can. But I have... This. But it's fine. Damn. Oh, it's iridium as well. Doing well, Friday was a bit shaky. Shaky? I'm, I'm alright, just chilling. It's raining a lot outside, it's... Almost like as if the moment the time zone shifted, it just swapped seasons completely. Oh, right. New York earthquake. Yeah, I've seen a lot of jokes about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did... Did you feel it a lot while you're where you are? Rule of two. Hmm. 
I mean, if it's anything like Australian earthquakes, they're really nothing. <laughs> it's just... Things rattle a little bit, and it's just like, eh, ah, yeah. Okay, uh... Lake fish bundle, get rid of the... Low value ones. Alright, cool. That's a good start. Don't have anything else to drop off. But, uh, yeah, just had dinner yesterday, went to a Korean place. Tried some fire cracker chicken for the first time, it was good. Spicy, but good kind of spicy. Yeah, it was all right. Oh, I fixed my BRB screen. By fix, I mean completely remade it. <laughs> yeah, it's like... different. I mean, when I finish the day, I'll, I'll throw it up for a minute so you can see it. It's like... Different. I made it to them. What happened this time won't happen again. Like, Windows can do its worst. I doubt it'll get into a point where I have to build it again. But I also made it better. There's more you gotta do now to, like, contribute to it. I think I made, like, maybe 50 new screens for it, so it's, like, so many new ones in there. Probably more, it's, like, closer to 100. I had time one day, so I was like, all right, I'll just... How can I get this fixed or rebuilt and not take forever? So I had to think about it for a bit. Well, the contribution now, it's like, it might be even harder to think about. But I re-enabled the redeem. We'll see. It's Friday, so I should pop in there and say hi to people.
Friday's the best day to give out presents. But I don't really have much to give out at the moment, so it's just pop in and talk. It's already hard to make decisions. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you just gotta take your shot, you know? You miss all the shots you don't take. And if you don't like what you... What you contribute as, like, that's fine. Just save up again. It's not like you can only do it once. Fishing level up. What else I've been doing? I've been playing Hollow Knight and Chrono Trigger. So I'm kinda like this at the moment. Okay, after this one, go say hi to people. Probably come back. I guess we'll see how late it is. Is it true my stream's up for nine hours? I haven't checked, but probably, yeah. Like, I got up in the morning and... Because the clock went back. I had slept a lot. Um... And... I ate breakfast, a nice breakfast, and then I just had something to snack on, like, whilst I was playing. Like, it's just raining heavily outside, like, I can't be super productive. I've done all my boring adult stuff, <laughs> it's just... And yesterday I went out and had dinner, so it's just, I don't know, it's just a day to be lazy. Doesn't happen often, but I'll have a day where this is just all I do. Um, it's already ten. Probably not worth going back to the beach and fishing. That being said, I do need to consider dinner soon. can get sold. I'll... Mm, nah, I'll keep it. Because there is a use for keeping them. This is technically a present. Yeah, I should do something for dinner. You wish there was a mod to get rid of the faint? The faint? Like, fainting? I mean, that's just energy management. Just eat. <laughs> Don't run out of energy, just... Stay... Keep an eye on the clock. Um, reduced resources or fishing. So, I've been trying to do this one lately. 
Because you can do well with it. What that does is reduces the... Because you can sell fish, but I think... There's a strategy you can do. Okay, let's just do this quickly. Um, keep the cookies. Keep anything they send you because they usually send something that they themselves like. So you just gift it back to them. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. Um, this works because, yeah, now I just put strawberries here. I just need to water the crops. Harvey sell something? Harvey sell something for what? I mean, if you want to, like, if we're talking about passing out at the end of the day, it's just time-based. Or if you're talking about passing out because you run out of health, there's a trick you can do to heal reliably so then you don't faint. So which are we talking about? Are we talking about the health fainting? Because you're taking damage? Because I can tell you how to deal with that and you'll never... You will never have to deal with that ever again. The end of the day thing, it's like, well, you're a human, you have to go to sleep. <laughs> Just, I don't know, I don't find that annoying. But then again, I played a lot of Harvest Moon, so it's something that's always been a thing. It's like, your day have to, has to end at some point. Um... You never pass out after one day. Okay, but on average, most people need sleep. <laughs> like, I get it. I, I can do things like that as well, but... Is it good for me in the long run? Uh, not really. Okay, so I've done what I've needed to do. Before we go to the egg festival, I'm going to chop... Two things I'm going to do. I'm going to chop some trees to tire myself out. Because when you come back from a festival, it's usually late at night. So just make sure you use your energy. I watered first because that's what I needed to do. Now, I need to count how many spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, so I'm purchasing 11 strawberries. Got it. It's not going to eat up my entire budget. Anyway, you don't have to go there right away, but just know that, like, you do have to go there at some point. Yeah, when you don't sleep, you start seeing things. Like, I experienced that in university, just not sleeping and having to do assignments and stuff, and... Also coupling that with going out <laughs> sometimes. Um, you start seeing things and you don't retain things in long-term memory or short-term memory for that man matter. It's not it's not good. I had a friend who um was like very goth. So every now and then he would wear the goth makeup. But uh there was once where I hadn't slept in almost two days, was doing assignments, crunch time, and there was a computer lab where we were all working. So I was focused on my shit, I got my stuff done, handed it in, and then went back in to say bye to everyone. And when I went to say bye to everyone, suddenly, the way I'm going to describe it is like, I'm talking to him, and then suddenly the makeup appears on his face, and I freaked the fuck out. I was like, what? And... Then I went home and passed out, slept for almost two days, and was sick for a week. Because I think just everything caught up. My body was like, okay, yep, you can fall apart now. You're done for the year.
Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Done. That's it. I mean, the other stuff is decorative. Cool, I have enough to upgrade a tool tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna go... Um... With the axe upgrade. Then I can collect wood and stuff. I'm not gonna go too mining-centric this time around. Um... Okay, look, there's a lot of flavor text that I'm not reading. Like, eh, is there any more food? Uh, but just talk to everyone. Because it's just free social points, so just do that. I've played this game so many times, like, it's not gonna be something where I'm reading things. No, not yet. No one that was born blind has been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Citation required. <laughs> but I'd believe it. So I'm going to show my the path I take to win this every time. I've done this so many times. Um, I need to talk to Lewis. You can talk to Lewis here. Oh, Pierre. Sorry, not Lewis. Wizard? Does he turn up here? I don't think it does. The wizard's usually hidden off to the side somewhere. So. But sometimes he doesn't turn up. But go back here. And he's like, what are you doing here? All right, that's everyone. It's time to beat some children <laughs> game. Oh. You'd love to have an option at a specific time you're not able to do farm work or fights anymore, but you can run freely around to get to bed. I mean, that's Animal Crossing territory, though. Like, it's a different game. This game has deep roots in Harvest Moon, where that just isn't a thing. That's the challenge. Time management. It's time for the highlights of today's hostilities annual. <laughs> the egg hunt. Calm down. Alright. So this is where I go. You take this route every time you'll win. Okay, so you guys south. Immediately go down. Start here. Collect this one here. And you go here. Alright. Then you go up to where these tombstones are. Another one here. Then here. Then here. I'm already up to six. Seven. No. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. I mean, if you're quick enough, you can probably get that one. Don't remember that you passed out in Harvest Moon, but you only played on the SNES. I played the Game Boy one, but... I mean, there was always a time management aspect to it. I don't get why he turns up. Like, you don't talk to him. Let me see. Maybe I'm not remembering correctly, because it's like such a distant memory. Yeah, I mean, it was, 
Okay, on the DS version it happened. I did play the DS version, so maybe that's what I'm thinking of. You lose money every time you faint. That might be what I'm thinking of. So maybe it depends on the one you played. I don't know if it's always been a thing, but I just remember the one I've the ones I've played it's been a thing. Okay, well. We have a hat. Um the hat really does nothing. If you win in the second year, because it's annual, then uh you get you get a prize ticket, I believe, so it's worth winning. Okay, um... Just let me look at what I can do. I mean, I'm gonna go axe so then I can re-up on the wood, basically. I think I've got enough stone. Cookout kit. Moss soup. Alright, cool. Greetings, is I the Queen of Source here to teach blah 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 Colsal. Alright. I've been good at getting the Queen of Source done as well. Spaghetti. Okay, it is Haley's birthday today, so I'm gonna see what I can give her. Let me also check, um, how is this going? I didn't go donate potato, but I have one. Cauliflower is coming. Alright, so that's handled. And the focus, not really going to be oriented around crops. But I'm doing what's required, at minimum. I forgot to show the BRB screen. <laughs> Remind me. Or actually, I can do it now. Just pause the VODs and YouTube doesn't see it. Okay. Um, what am I going to plant there? I mean... I guess in the interest of not spending money, just get... Yeah, I mean, I have these. Why not? Yeah, it makes it more flexible and I think better overall. Okay, uh, uh, I need to look up Haley. What did, what is she like? I mean, I know what she likes, but... Pink cakes, sunflower, fruit salad. Daffodil. The daffodil is probably the best thing I can gift her right now. Okay, again, a leak for George. No. I like the idea of, like, a channel point redeem that you work hard for, and it's something that's permanent and not kind of lost in the moment, so... Damn, nice. Oh, I forgot to go get, um... I'm getting a tool upgrade. Uh, take that to bundle, I guess, while I'm out and about. I'll make this vod as long as the other one in terms of 
in game time. It covers a week of gameplay, so... I'll wrap it up with today. Traveling Merchant Day as well, so let's check the Traveling Merchant. It might mean I don't upgrade my, my tool, but let's just see. <laughs> An Iridium Bar? Holy crap, okay. Um... Interesting. These are all very... That one in particular... Alright, hold on. But I guess since I'm going for the barn anyway... I mean, mate is gonna happen. If it was any of the other ones. Yeah, nah, it's fine. I'm gonna get goats anyway. And it's not even part of this. It's like one of the other bundles. Alright, we're fine. Good choices, though. They are good choices. I think I had to test. It's <laughs> like if the stupid screen wouldn't crash OBS. Like, that's another thing. Because initially when I did the BRB screen, it kind of would crash OBS after a certain time. I don't know what it was. I fixed it eventually, but this one seemed fine. I let it run for like eight hours on end and it was fine. Let me watch this. Oh yeah, she's sculpting. I mean, it's between her and Haley. I guess whoever has the higher friendship. I didn't realize that I, I had gotten her friendship that high, but I guess because I had completed some quests for her. Go the creepy. Same with people. My first visit to this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This place has great artistic potential. Although, I have to admit, it's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. That's why it's a starving artist. Have an art show. Hmm, interesting. Guess that could set the wheels in motion to making Pelican Town a true art destination. But what if no one likes my sculptures? I'd be crushed. I'll have to think about it. Well, thanks for stopping by. That's the thing with any anything creative. There's always going to be someone that doesn't like your stuff, and there's not really... <sighs> Wait, wrong thing. There's not really any way to avoid it. And I think... The people that enjoy your stuff outweigh just coming across people that don't. Okay. Oh, she's probably left her house already. Um, I need to see yeah, where she goes. Um, give me a sec. Schedule, spring. Oh, it's so nice to be able to look this stuff up. Sunday. Alright, she's hanging out at the community center. Fountain, cool. I love playing multiplayer, but man, <laughs> the, the time management aspect. Ugh. I can collect my thoughts. There you go. How is it going here? 
it's equal. I mean, I got the feeling... Ah, uh, oh, that sucks. That would have been a gold star one. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Had I found that earlier, I would have gotten more friendship. Oh, well. Oh, well. Sometimes, I mean, if, if something like this bothers you that much, if you're playing, just start the day again. That's fine. Just exit. Use the power of hindsight. I'm gonna go give George... Oh, he's not here. Oh, it's Sunday. Right. Yeah, this is the weird... Like, this is like the weird thing that I noticed. So George goes to Sunday service, but then she... Ah! Eyes in the back of your head! She doesn't. You saw the Donkey Kong Country playthrough and I have to watch it again. <laughs> Sorry. Admittedly, that was fun. I mean, if you want to see me struggle with a retro game, go watch, like, the Donald Duck game that I played. I played the PC version of the game, thinking it would be the same as the Super Nintendo version. It wasn't. Completely different game. Frustrating. Still fun, but frustrating. And then I played the Super Nintendo version immediately afterwards, just to show that I wasn't going crazy, that things were different. You want to hear me make weird noises, that's, that's definitely the one to watch. Yeah, I mean... The Super Nintendo game is great. It's a game that we rented when I was a kid. And it's a it's a great game. It's like underrated. It's never really included in those Disney retro collections for some reason. I don't know why. But, you know, it's it's a great game. Like it's I think on equal footing as like those other games that are usually in those collections. But, you know, I got it on PC because it was on sale, on the Steam sales, thinking it'd be the same, and it, it wasn't. It was, like, different levels. The music was cool. It sounds cool, but then the gameplay it was clunky. The hitboxes were massive. Um, some of the combat mechanics just wouldn't work half the time. So it was a struggle to finish the game. And then it got me questioning, like, man, was... The Super Nintendo version like this, or am I just not remembering it correctly? And so I had to play the Super Nintendo version after. And yep, I wasn't I wasn't imagining it. <laughs> the, it's all on YouTube, I think. I think today or tonight, the Super Nintendo playthrough should go up. If it's not already up. But yeah. The PC playthrough took six hours across two VODs. The Super Nintendo version took two and a half hours to finish. <laughs> nope. Didn't lose a continue. Didn't need passwords, nothing. Just, you know, that's to provide the context of what I had to deal with. That's how bad it got. So it's up to you what order you watch it. You can watch it in the order where I play the game and I'm good at it. And you're like, oh, this is a nice game. And then you see where it goes wrong. Or you can see where it goes wrong, me getting frustrated. 
and then just validation when I play the Super Nintendo version and it's not me going insane. I played the PC version first, so, you know, that's what happened first, and I talk about my memories of the Super Nintendo version. And the entire time, like, I'm just kind of guess second-guessing myself, thinking, well, was it really that way? <laughs> Am I just struggling with it? Am I just not good at this game anymore? Like, what's going on? If you enjoyed the Disney games from the 1990s and early 2000s, like, you'll, if you haven't seen the Donald Duck game that I played, it's great. I think it's, it's underrated. Oh, they're both up? Alright, cool. Yeah. Oh my god, I just, I just think back to like the first stage, I'm, I'm playing it. And everything is nice, I'm like, oh, the music is really nice, and, you know, I'm happy with it. And then within the first ten minutes, like, I come across something that's just like, wait, what? <laughs> and I'm just... It threw me off guard, I was just... I was worried that I might have, I might needed to abandon playing the PC version and swap to the Super Nintendo because I was like, oh no, what is this? Wait, what's going on? This can't be right. Anyway, you'll see. I'm glad to be fishing again, honestly. <laughs> it's just, I do so much better when I focus on fishing. I mean, I've, I've done some mining, but... My recommendation if you're playing this, the, if you can enjoy the fishing, do the fishing. It's a good way to do... Do the content and get money. If you don't care for the fishing too much, like... The alternative is going the mining route. Um... Because you can do that, like, you go farming and mining. And the- oh yeah, and also the VODs, because you were interested in Chrono Trigger as well, right, Messiah? Because I'm playing Chrono Trigger as well. So, like, those will be up during the week as well. I just got up to, um, where Ayla is introduced, so that's where I'm up to. Oh, nice. Collecting those because they're required for an item to craft. I'm not going to eat them. I'm not going to sell them. Just hang on to them. So which one's missing? I've got river. I think I'm missing lake. No, cave. I'm missing cave. You don't remember anything about Chrono Trigger? That's fine. I mean, 
it's a very good story. Like, I, I really like Chrono Trigger's story. The reason I got into it was just because of the artwork. I was like, oh, this looks like Dragon Ball's artwork. And yeah, it was Akira Toriyama who did the character designs. So that's what made me check it out in the first place. And when I checked it out, it was great. I'm lucky to have a copy of the DS version. <laughs> Because we didn't get the Super Nintendo game here in Australia, it never came out. So the first release of it, physically, was the DS version. Um, you could get it on the eShop, I think, on the Wii, but... Like, yeah, I got, I got the, the DS version, and I'm glad that I do. I mean, I got, one, I got one. Yeah, it was unfortunately one of those games. The time when it came out was like during a time period where it wasn't just Aussies; it was Europe as well. Um, it's just it happened with the NES. There were certain games as well, just that released during a time period where like the new console was on its way. And because back then it was like, all right, the game would release in Japan, then America then Europe, and then finally Australia. So by the time it got to Australia, it was sometimes six months later, or to a year. So with some games, they wouldn't bother. They'd be like, nah, by then, the next console's out. Which was kind of annoying. But there were quite a few games that suffered that fate. Like, the, the original Mega Man collection on the NES, we didn't get Mega Man 6 that suffered that fate because it came out towards the end of the NES's life, so it just didn't release in Europe or Australia. Um, I have bait. I guess put the bait here. Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, before I forget. Do this. Do this. So I got the crab pot passive, which lets me craft crab pots on the cheap. I'm gonna do that. Done. This is why I upgraded the wood. The, the axe to cut down wood, because I was gonna make a bunch of these. One, two, three, four. I think these have become better. Um, so with these, you want kind of want to place them in a spot that's not too much of a pain in the ass to get to. Because otherwise you will forget about them. There we go. That's good enough. And I will place a chest there eventually. Just not yet. Okay. I did remember. But everything that comes out of those pots, I'm going to save. So this is something I learned from Cat. It's just... Save them, and then make them into sashimi, which sells for more than what they would sell individually. Or you can keep it as a source of food, which, not bad. Queen of sauce, coleslaw, I got it already. Just making sure. Alright, we're good, right? Go to sleep. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. A thousand, it's not a lot. The red 12 a.m. is stressing you out. Nah, you can stay out till 1. Like, my advice is, no matter where you are in the game, if you're walking, just at midnight, leave, and you can make it home in time every time. Just don't do anything. Um, that rule changes later, but, you know, midnight, you can be fine. Because you can stay out till, like, 1.30 and still be okay. You won't have as much energy, but, you know, if you do want to prioritize what you're doing, so if you're, like, in the mines and want to push it to get to the next waypoint, or if you're fishing and you want to make sure you get more money, then, yeah, just do that. And if you stick to the whole thing where you're getting the, um, the spring onions, it's like, the next day, just eat some spring onions and you're fine again. Alright, um, 
that'll do it for this VOD, if you're watching this later on YouTube, as, like, this whole beginner playthrough thing. So, you know, I did this live and did two parts as VODs. Um, it might be a while before you see the next one, who knows? If you did enjoy and want to see more, please let me know. Because then that'll give me incentive to do so, as, hey, people are finding use of it. Uh, or if you want to support any other content over on YouTube, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or you can also watch me play other things by clicking one of those videos that pop up at the end. Any of that stuff helps out a lot, so thanks to those that do that. Appreciate it a lot. But yeah, again, if you want to see more of it, let me know. And uh, I'll do some more.